Hey guys, Finn here from Complete Body Approach and today I'm going to be sharing a little bit more information about our feet and the effects of footwear and like what sort of three that we, that we move on and like how that can have a roll on effect and what's going on. So to start off through here, like if you haven't seen my other videos talking about a bit more about the, the, the foot mechanics, uh, definitely go and check them out because um, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about like the difference between pronation and supination, what's happening as we're walking through the different stages of gait. So the big thing and question that people always ask is like what sort of footwear do I need? Do I need to wear orthotics? Do I not? And like my big thing is like train your feet up to be to be able to work naked. Like you want to have your foot nice and strong so you can do stuff when you're walking around on your on your bare feet. And like that's gonna get everything working, getting all that small proprioceptive muscles working, and it's gonna get teach all that joints to start moving and fr uh, freeing up a lot more. So whereas if you're in footwear all day long like anything that's really heavy or compact through there, like that's going to be hard for your foot to actually breathe and even flow nice and smooth. So as much as you can, kick your shoes off and get barefoot. Like that's the number one key to a uh, rule for it. As well as that, like when you're barefoot, try to walk in different terrain as well. Strengthen your strengthen your feet up to be more versatile and mobile adapters to what's what's uh, working around us in the environment. Like I love like having uh, my shoes off, walking barefoot, and like walking on uneven surfaces. Like walking like if you're in the park, if I see like that there's a bit of an incline one side in the grass, like I like to walk along that. So like this is getting your body to work outside of its comfort zone with its movement, rather than always being on like hard, flat, even surfaces. Like even working on balancing, see what your balance is like working along like foot uh, like curbs or working along planks of wood, like in that bare feet and gets all of them little small thing, uh, muscles moving and getting everything working a lot stronger with that. Um, another one is get on the sand. If you can, get your, get your bare feet on the sand working through there, that's going to help really strengthen up a lot of them muscles. So find like a lot of people like if you're in orthotics or if you've got like shoes that like have big supports through there, like that decreases your foot's ability to actually move and causes it to become more rigid. Whereas if you can start training that foot how to become more uh, more uh, stronger through them different ranges, that's gonna allow everything to kick in and, and be a lot more efficient. And then by working on these uneven surfaces, teaching your feet how to move, that's gonna teach the rest of your body how to work with these different movements so everything works a lot stronger stronger and smoother. Then moving on from here, like what sort of footwear do, do you, you use? Like the big thing is if you wear orthotics or if you wear like like heavy supported shoes, like I don't recommend just going kicking and throwing out everything in the bin and, and going straight barefoot because it's going to cause a bit of issues in your body. Like your body needs time to like adapt and change. Like I myself, like I went from like having orthotics and having like big bulky shoes to start like over like a couple of year period to start regressing back down, teaching my body how to get stronger, teaching my feet how to move a lot better and like walking barefoot as much as I can and start wearing more minimalist footwear and like now I can go for runs uh, pretty easy like barefoot or else like with very minimalist shoes uh, without, without any issues however like it is a process that you need to start building your body into it. Like it's the same as anything, like you're training these here muscles, you're not going to go straight over to the barbell and start snatching 80 kgs over your head. You have to start training, working through the movements, learning the techniques, learning how everything works and flows, and then start building building up the time on time of attention with that as well. Um, some other aspects with your, with your footwear, like look for stuff that's that you have a lot of movement in them. Like um, kind of one idea that I work for is like if you can't get the sole and tie it up in a knot, it's too rigid for your foot. So then, like go for, throw it out, go for something else. And um, some of the good kind of go tos that I have, like I use my. Um, I use I wear Converse if I am wearing shoes a lot because like they're just a lot more movement in them. There's a lot more room and space in them. And um, if I'm wearing runners, like they've got like there's a few different brands out there. But like always do the twist test. Like if you can't twist it, like it's going to be too rigid and stiff for you. So like then like I start looking for other options around that as well. 
Um, I think it's always experiment and find what works for your feet. Try different things out. Don't just go for what uh, is the pretty color. It's like try different footwear out, see how it feels, have a good walk around in the shop and everything in them as well. And like making sure that when you have the, the shoes on, that you have a good bit of movement through here, walking, changing it up, walking through, that strike and that suspension phase where like can you pronate and can you come back out in the supination through there? Can you stand and get that pronation and supination easing through your feet? Like, do you even feel the surface of underneath underneath uh, the ground, or are you just sitting on the big um, uh, foam piece of rubber? So it's always look at all of these sort of options with it. Then the last one is like in Australia, especially, is one of the things. Is, like so many people wear the thongs or like the flip flops or whatever you want to call them, um, and like these are one of the things that like I feel like. It is, it's so bad for a feet wearing this because it changes up the whole mechanics of what's going on through your feet. So like if you have this piece of plastic on your foot or a piece of rubber on your foot and so you're just holding it through your big toe where it comes through your big toe. Whenever you're walking through here, like through that swing phase as you're lifting your foot up through here, when you're bringing that foot through, like you should be working in that more of a supinated movement coming down into that heel strike and like your toes your like your forefoot and your toes should be in that more of an extended position as you're coming swinging that leg through to get yourself set up before you're letting it through whoever if you're in a pair of thongs that like the sole of them is falling away from from your heel your big toe kind of clenches on and that's going to change up the whole mechanics of what's going on so your big toe clenches on a lot more to hold that in place and if you're walking around in these these sort of footwear a lot that means you're going to be clawing onto them a, whole, a, a lot more to try to get uh, keep them in contact with your with your shoe with your foot without falling off so that means you're going to be working all of these little muscles through your whole plantar fascia working up through the shins and everything as well and like they're going to get really tired and overworked and it changes the whole pattern and the flow of how them uh, joints all move and how them muscles all want to move and sync with each other so the one thing like big thing is like Wearing, like if you're wearing flip flops, go for something that has a strap coming up around your heel as well, um, rather than just coming through here. Like you should be able to lift this your foot up without anything falling off from here. You have to squeeze it. If you have to squeeze it on to hold it on, or if if it sits down naturally, that's going to cause other patterns through here. So it's then um, looking at the different brands um, or the different types of footwear out there. All right, let's just go play head barefoot. That's going to help working with that. Um, if you have any questions on this, please uh, let me know. It is a bit of a controversial topic. There's a lot of people say this and that with it. Like I'm just sharing what I've seen, uh, what works for me, what has worked for a lot of my clients. Um, and just, uh, just start educating yourself on this and trying for what works for yourself as well. Good.